I read your piece this morning. You did a really good job of presenting that, talking about the fact that they're leaving a market that's the sixth largest market when you consider Oakland, San Francisco, that whole Bay Area, you know, and, and, and the 49ers who moved all the way down to Santa Clara, leaving that market and going to the uncertainty of Las Vegas. I'm Jay Feely uh, talking to Peter King here on the Rich Eisen Show. I, I'm really, my question is what's going to happen? Like, how does that play out? If it is approved and they, they play this season in Oakland, they have an option for next season. What does that look like? How do you stay in a city that you've already voted that you're leaving and stay there for another year or two years and expect that those fans are going to continue to come and support that team and you're going to have the black hole still? Uh, that's a great question, and not only that question, but are you going to be called the Las Vegas Raiders when you're playing in Oakland for right. two years? Sure. I mean, I think that is a key question. Um, but I think, I think what's going to solve all of that, quite honestly, is winning. Because uh, if Derek Carr and uh, uh, and and Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper and that team you know, has the kind of year in 2017 and then maybe in 2018 that it just had, uh, only without the injury to the quarterback, if they have those, those kind of years, I mean, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty tempting for uh, the people in Oakland and in Sacramento and all over Northern California to stay away. They may be angry, but uh, then again, if the team starts winning, then you're going to find out, uh, you know, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who say I'll never step foot back in that stadium right. again now that now that they've moved. So they're going to have a challenge there. Uh, but but I do think at the end of the day, I think what what has happened now is that the NFL really. I mean, look, St. Louis to uh, Los Angeles was not be, because of the the uh, incredible new stadium and, and campus that. Stan Kroenke is building in Los Angeles. That is somewhat logical. Mm -hmm. And plus the Rams used to play there, but the chargers going to play uh, in Carson, California for a couple of years. And then in a city that has no love for them uh, is just, I think that's a really misguided thing to do. And then, and now we'll see about Oakland. Nobody can tell you with any certainty how, what kind of market Las Vegas is going to be. Uh, nobody can tell you whether uh, the people who go to Las Vegas for a weekend are going to use one of those days on that weekend to go to a football game instead of uh, going to uh, gamble at a casino. So, I mean, it's just all this unknown here that I think people can't predict. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it how it uh, how it turns out, assuming they get the vote today. I feel bad for the people of Oakland. Here you've waited since 2001 yeah. for a team that you, was competitive and that you could go to and be fans of, and you finally have this great young nucleus You know that is one of the best young nucleuses in all of the NFL, and now they're going to be taken away from you. And I don't know if the black hole can translate to Las Vegas, and do you bring that with you, and do you – continue to have the same mystique. I mean, they, they brought it to L.A. somewhat, and then it came back in Oakland. I get it. I get it from the perspective of the business aspect, and I think people will go because it's an event. You go to Las Vegas, you want to be entertained. They'll go, and they'll see that, and they have money to spend, but I don't know how it translates. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.